Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm kind of out of my element here, but somebody asked how they could put a shadow. And we kind of gone through the steps. You can't put a shadow on this object because it's kind of like a blend, but there's ways around that. And what we're going to do, we're just going to recreate that. And if you hold down your left mouse button, it'll open up a whole new palette of different colors and you can pick different colors. And then we do want to draw and we want to take away the outline. That's pretty important, no outline. Then we just want to put a little bitty circle dot ellipse in white, fill it in with white with no outline. Then we want to get the blend tool and we want to go from about the center to the bottom but we want to put like 200 blends. Kind of looks like a shiny ball, but here's the problem. The shadow won't work. Well, make your ball. Let's say we're going to make it 33 inches. Let's just delete this. Make another ball 33 inches. And this might help if you put it on top of that other ball and then nudged it over. And then fill it in with really any color. Go get your shadow tool and just kind of go from the bottom sideways. Takes just a second for the Corel to do that. And you can play with the intensity, you know, make it more or less. And then when you're done with that, Go up to object and break the shadow apart and take away your other ball and then just nudge this back over to the other one. Now you see it's in front of the item, but just go to object, order, back a page. So you kind of got a shadow of a glossy ball. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.